Good afternoon, National 5 Graphics. Welcome to your first digital learning lesson. Today we are going to go over orthographic drawing symbols and line types. So you may have done a couple um, orthographics in S1 to S3, um, but there is quite a lot that we will need to go over for National 5. Now, as I stated in our Teams, I do expect you to take notes as unfortunately we will not have time to go over this information when we go back to school. Um, unfortunately, with um, graphics, there's a lot of information that we need to get through. So anything that I am covering today, um, we will not be going over um, when we return. So make sure that you're taking notes. If you've got your S3 jotter, that would be perfect. Um, alternatively, any paper um, or like a blank notebook or anything like that, use it and then we can work it out when we get into school um, on how to kind of get the information into a new jotter for you. So what is an orthographic? Well, an orthographic is a production drawn and it shows different sides of a product um, and gives all the information like the sizes so that the product can go and be manufactured. So in S1 to S3, you may have been given a technical drawn in design or in woodwork. Those are orthographic drawings. So it's um, each side of the um, object that you're making with all the sizes so that you can go away um, and manufacture it. Now on an orthographic drawing you will always see what is called the third angle projection symbol and that is a symbol um, on the screen at the bottom. A very common exam question is for you to identify the third angle projection symbol or draw the third angle um, projection symbol. So. Take a note of it, familiar, um, familiarise it um, and know what the name of it is, how to draw it and also why we use it. So we use the third angle projection symbol to show the layout of the drone. So if you were ever asked that in an exam, the answer would be that the third angle projection symbol is used to show the layout of the drone. It shows the projection of the drone. So a standard layout of an orthographic is um, three different views. So you have your elevation, which is the front view, and that view is um, what shows the most detail of the product. So in this case, we have a car. Even though the front of the car you would think would be the front view, the side of the car actually has the most detail. So that is why that is our front view, that is our elevation. The front of the car then becomes the end elevation. So the end elevation is the side of the product. So if I had to walk around the car and view it from the side, that would be your end elevation. Your plan, which is um, the bird's eye view, the top view, um, is directly above the elevation. So all of the lines from the elevation are projected onto the plan. So for example, if I draw a line all the way up here and here, you can see that it's the exact same size and it's the same with the elevation and the end elevation. If I draw my lines across, you can see that the end elevation was projected from the elevation. So your three sides, um, Three views for an orthographic would be your elevation, which is your front view, the plan, which is the top view, and the end elevation, which is the side view. Now for National 5, you need to learn five different line types. So again, take note of them because you will use them frequently throughout National 5. The first line type is an outline, which is a thick continuous line that shows the edges of the object. So if we go back to the car, all of these lines are the outline. A center line is a da dash dot dash line, 
and that shows the center of circular shapes and curves. So if you were to draw a circle or an arc or a curve, you would put a center line in the middle of the circle to show that it is um, a circular shape. A fold line, which is a dash, double dot, dash line, shows where the material will be folded or how a part moves. So again, these drawings are made for manufacture. So if I had a product that needed folded at one side, then I would put a fold line to show the people who are making the, the product where the machine should fold it. And that just makes sure that everything fits together um, correctly and that they know exactly what to manufacture. The last two lines you need to know is hidden detail, which is a broken dash. And the hidden detail line is shown, um, is used to show the internal edges, um, which can't be seen outside the product. So for example, if you have a box with a hole cut out in the top of it, you would use hidden detail in your elevation and in your end elevation to show that there is a hole going all the way through it. Otherwise, you wouldn't know it's there. So any um, hollowed out areas of a product or any areas that have um, something internal, you would use hidden detail so that we know that it's not just completely solid and that there is um, items within um, the, the object. And your last line that you need to learn is a cutting plane. And that is the dot dash um, dot line that we had previously. However, this time it has thick ends um, with arrows. And that shows where a product is sectioned or cut to allow the internal product to be shown. So a cutting plane is not added to a drawing so that the manufacturer knows where to cut a product. And instead, it is a line that is shown, um, for example, on a plan, and then the drawing that would be on the elevation would be a cut of the plan. So it would show the internal parts of a plan. The slide um, at the end will kind of give an, a, a better example um, of what a cutting plane is. Now on every single production drawing that you produce, you need to include a title block. Now there are seven items that could be um, shown on a title block and they are to your right hand side. So we have name, which would be your name. We have the date, we have the scale, we have tolerance, we have the drawing number, we have the phrase all sizes in millimetres, and then we have our third angle projection symbol. Now, the only item that doesn't apply to you in your assignment, so the only item that can be left out is tolerance, you wouldn't be expected to include that in your assignment, but it is one of the seven items that you could give um, in an exam kind of question. It is a very common exam question to um, name different parts of the title block or for example they may ask you where would scale be found on a drawn and the answer would be on the title block so um, get familiar with these seven titles make sure you remember them because again it's a very common um, question to be asked Now, the scale is the ratio of the size of a part um, or the drone. So in your title block, you have scale. Scales influenced by either the size of the paper, the size of the product, or the amount of detail required. So if your scale is one to one, then the drawing is the exact same size as your product. If the number on the left-hand side changes, then it means that the product is five times bigger, or sorry, the, the drawing is five times bigger than the product. So for example, if I was going to draw an orthographic drawing of a house key, obviously the house key is quite small in size, so I would want to scale um, maybe five to one, so that my drawing is five times bigger than the actual key itself. 
If the number on the right side changes, then the product has been reduced in size. So earlier we seen a drawing of a car. Obviously the car is too big to do a one-to-one -one scale to do it the exact same size. So we need to scale down the size of the drawing, um, sorry, the product to make sure that the drawing um, fits the paper. So for example, I'm drawing my car. I might do a scale of one to 20, which means that the drawing um, would be 20 times smaller than the actual car. Now the last thing that we're going to cover in orthographics is sections. Section drawings are identified as there will be a visible cutting plane and a hatched view. So previously we discussed the cutting plane line and you can see that that is here on the, on the drawing. So section drawings are used to show how parts may fit together or to see the internal parts of um, the product. Now we would use what's called hatching lines which is these diagonal lines here and that shows that that material is solid. So this line here shows that we've cut halfway through it so all of this is solid and then we've got areas here for our circles um, to show that the ho there, there are holes going through it. So we wouldn't hatch the holes because they are not like the solid part of the material. Now we do not hatch nuts, bolts or webs even if they are being cut. Now you won't know exactly um, you know, how that works in drones but the more practice we do the more easier you will find to identify what a nut, bolt or a web is. So what I would recommend is you just write that down um, as a note and then later on we'll be able to kind of discuss it a bit more and identify it a bit easier. Now if there are more than one part to a product the hatching lines will change direction so that it's easier to see the different parts. So in this drawing here you can see that all of the hatching lines go the same direction so we know that they're all the same part but if for example this top part was a different part to the bottom then the hatching lines would probably go um, the other direction on that section so that it kind of contrasts between them and we can see see the difference between them. So all of that information is what you would need to know for National 5 um, for orthographic drawing symbols and line types. Um, during this week, so Monday 12.45 to 2 and Wednesday 12.45 to 2, um, I would expect you to write down your notes for the slides, the eight slides that we have today and also fill out a worksheet that can be found on Teams Files that has some questions in relation to the information that we covered today. Um, so this week you've got nearly three hours um, to take a note of all the notes and fill out the worksheet. If you have any questions or any concerns please um, either at me in the comments or send me an email otherwise um, I will speak to you next week. <laughs>